Okay, we are here with our next stranger. Um, hi, could you tell us your name? <laughs> no, you're okay. Could you tell us your name and a little about yourself? Um, my name is Chloe. I am 19 years old. I was born in Ontario, Canada. I'm not going to get any closer to my home than that. <laughs> good, but, good, um, good, 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 good. That's, yeah, that's good. That's me. Awesome. Now, it looks like behind you, you have some really cool kind of like pictures yeah. and stuff. What's the story They're behind just those? pictures from Frog and Toad. It's my favorite <laughs> kid's book. So I just, I found a book at like a charity shop and I cut them out. And now they're on my wall. Oh, that's great. They're just all sorts of frog and toad. Do you like uh, Do you like visual art stuff? Oh, I love it. I love it. Can't live without it. I mean, it is my livelihood now, which mm. is always fun. But, yeah. So by that, do you mean, is that something that you're currently doing for money? Or are you in it for school? Well, or? I'm in it for school. But... I'm, I am taking some commissions when they come my way, which is not very often, but they happen. <laughs> you know what, this, like, it's, we live in a world where, like, you, you, people only think that something is valuable if you make money from it, and that is just so exactly. not true. You know, so. Exactly. Like, I can give you free stuff. Am I allowed to cuss? Yes. Just before. Okay. Just, yes. just, yeah. Thanks I'm for not, asking. I wasn't no, about you're to. You're so polite. About That's to, great. But, <laughs> yeah. But just in case. Mm -hmm. I mean, that does make it more. I can't think of the word anymore. <laughs> well, know. just be yourself. You, know, you, don't have okay. to, you don't have to pretend to be anything you don't want to. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just think it, as long as you enjoy it, you should be doing it. That wasn't your question at all, but. I totally forgot what my question was, so you're okay. <laughs> you're so okay. Yeah, I just wanted just... something. <laughs> um, well, so, so um, what is it about art that um, got you into it in the first place? Have you always been interested? Um, so both my parents were artists, so I was always surrounded with it. I always had my hands on, like, all different things, probably stuff I shouldn't have been having your hands Contact on <laughs> or access to yeah. yeah but like i was always digging into things and making shit and just building things and creating even if they were really bad but like i always enjoyed it and yeah yeah so that's that's actually something that that i i talk to a lot of people about on here is kind of like their relationship with their parents right especially yeah. with like bullying actually is is really interesting mm -hmm. Like a lot of people who, um, who you know, don't feel like they had like supportive parents and everything. Like they tend to be people who talk about lashing out or having yeah emotional issues and stuff. And so your parents have always been pretty pretty um, supportive of you with with art and stuff. Yeah, luckily I I got really lucky in that area. But my parents are divorced mm -hmm. for for probably about fifteen years now. So it's a little bit, mm -hmm. but um. Yeah, so that I had a rocky childhood, so that was always tough. But they've always been supportive, and they're just happier separated. So. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's actually interesting, right? Like, do you think that it's 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 better for your for parents to be a, you know, get get a divorce if they don't, if it's healthier for them or to? Yeah, I just I just yeah. think don't force it. Sorry, I totally just interrupted what you no, were saying, but don't no. force it. And, like, if it's not working, it's not working. Maybe you just need to take a little break and get one apartment or two apartments and just separate that little bit. But, like, always just support your children is the biggest thing. Like, they need you most during that time. And if they see you trying, they can, kids can tell. Kids can tell if you're trying to fake it or push it too far to where yeah. it's not being... Yeah, parents Legitimate. treat kids like they're, like they're stupid, or at least yeah, at least society does, right? Like society, yeah. like very much says like kids oh, are smart. Kids, kids, they're complex, but we don't want to think that they are. So we pour all of this garbage down their throats that they're not, and then that messes with them later in life. Yeah. So, in in what ways do you think like uh, your parents did a really good job in being supportive? Um, 
they let me do stuff on my own and they didn't have to hold my hand throughout everything, which was good. Like they, they gave me some help, obviously, but like they let me choose my own path. They weren't like, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. Sometimes they probably should have, but they didn't. But then that leads to you figuring it out on your own and learning how to. But, you know, they're still there to catch you if you fall. So just not hands off, but just kind of more like, here's my pinky, not the whole hand. So that's so for you, like, what is the line? You said there were some things that they maybe, maybe should have kind of held your hand for. Like for yeah. you, like what, what do you think one of those things is? In school, like probably middle school, maybe high school. High school, I got it all down mostly. But um, I wasn't doing my homework at all. And that was really bad. Or at least I wasn't doing it until the very last minute, mm. which is not a good thing to teach you. But they were more focused on my other siblings because I'm the youngest of three others, three others. <laughs> the youngest of four? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but so they were more focused on them because I've always been more just on my own, like I can do this and everything. So I was just kind of put on the back burner because they always thought like I could do everything. Oh, interesting. So sometimes it was just like, hey, I'm still here. If I might need some help with some math homework. But So do yeah. you think that that's just a matter of that they didn't have enough time or... I think it's a mix of that and they saw that I was so independent from such a young age that they're just so used to, hey, she doesn't need help with this. But sometimes, you know, saying, do you need help or how are you doing? It's nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's um, that's something that's just so foreign for me because I'm an, I'm an only child. So I got like, mm -hmm. like if anything was happening, it was like, you know, like... They they were they were on me, uh, yeah. But that actually they were pretty good too. My parents, um, yeah. So what what about like uh, living in Canada? Is that um, how do you think that that is different uh, from from living in America or from how you could maybe imagine it? I mean, I don't really know. Obviously, we have provinces instead of states and a prime minister instead of a president. But, um, like, it's so, it seems, like, from TV, it doesn't look like there's any differences. But, I mean, it's just so off from what I would know. I mean, or it might be, it might be the exact same. It might be extremely different. But there's, I didn't grow up there. But, like, I'm relatively close to the border, so okay. I don't know if, like, things kind of double over or anything, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but, it seems, it seems like, yeah. um, yeah, like, um, in Canada, you guys have kind of, you, you care more about, like, um, social policies, and it doesn't yeah. seem like racism is as major of an issue, like, I know that Canada is, is very much, like, at least accepts way more refugees, like during the whole Syrian crisis, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, obviously, there's not as much. Yeah, go for it. It's hard. It's hard to say. Like, it's hard to put into words. It might be because I'm tired, but I don't know. I've never been really into politics, which I probably really should now. Seeing as I'm becoming the adult that I am. But, yeah. It's just like not on your radar as much. It's not, a, it's not on my radar, and I don't really have to be because I'm a white female. Like, mm. I don't need to worry about it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, something Which is absolute bullshit that other people do because of their skin color or their, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing, I, I don't think that I've talked to a, uh, a girl on here yet who has short hair. And yeah. uh, I, I'm really interested in kind of you, like uh, the change of, like, how do you think people treat you differently 
with oh. short hair rather than long hair. And like, yeah, I'm sure you have tons of interesting insight on this. Yeah. So I haven't had long hair for that long because I cut it. I think I was sixth grade. So at 10 or whenever, whenever you, however old you are. So quite a long time. So, and it hasn't been this short ever. But quarantine has everybody doing weird things. So <laughs> this is this so is. So you're where I'm going at. there, yeah. Yeah, but um, it's always been a little bit, you know, a little bit there. And people, they always assume that I'm gay, mm. which is a thing, which I might be, I might not be. You never know. But it's really interesting. And then before that, I would actually get cat called less with hair, but now without it, it's just all the time. Really? You get catcalled more with short hair? I know. And it's like, what does it make me more of an object? Or is it more of like, oh, she's not actually real or... Or maybe it, like, oh, like... It, oh, so, it blew my mind. Like, may, could it, I wonder if it could be a mentality of like, oh, she could take it. You know, if she can take having short hair, then she could take a cat Yeah, call. maybe. Like, she shaved her head. That means, yeah. It, I don't know. But people, oh, people are much, like, ruder straight to my face. They're just, like, on this, on this website. Oh, my Lord. People. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I joke about it with my friends. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm incredible. Because the resemblance <laughs> is pretty uncanny. But people are like, oh, you're that bald-headed bitch. And I'm like, I'm kind of more than that. Like, oh. I've been serenading people with my recorder. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, but they just remember the bald head, which, which makes sense. I mean, Wait, like, not everybody. Hold on one second. Look, look at what I've been like. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's amazing. <laughs> it's like a dollar I got it for like a dollar, and it sounds absolutely appalling. <laughs> Wait, we have to listen to some of the serenading. Oh, no. Do, do you want All to? All I know no. is like hot cross buns. Like, oh, my God. I just, I just kind of figured out Mary had a little lamb. Like, they're the same notes, but I don't remember. So I'll play you hot cross buns, and only that. Okay, okay. One-handed. Oh, oh One -handed. that's skill. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I just broke it. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can. Okay, oh we got God. it. Fuck, I put it on backwards. <laughs> it might break. It might break. But. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, okay. I am Mozart. I am the map. You were one. You were Zen. I am one with the recorder. I can do. I can do this. It's like. Oh my god, the anticipation okay. is killing me. You're going to end up being like, you're going to end up being like the world's best flautist. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> B A G. I fucked up hot cross buns. -A -G. I don't even know the notes. I don't know the notes. Oh I just kind of go. I learned. Okay, I didn't learn, but I played along with some Bohemian Rhapsody how to play it on recorder video on YouTube, and it didn't go very well. But I thought it sounded great because my headphones were on and it was blasting. <laughs> Not so much, but. So has that been your COVID instrument this summer? Um, well, no. That's more of my, I need to let off some steam, let me scream into a plastic little device. But my COVID instrument has been 
the upright base. So oh that's my God. What, yeah. And like legit. Like yeah. really? Wait, wow. Okay. okay, traveling. This is my baby. Oh my God. It's loud. They have to be quiet because I do have family. <laughs> They might kill me for that re little recorder <laughs> concert, but who knows? So they're like on the other side of the wall then, huh? Yep. Right there. <laughs> oh my god. Right there. On the other side of Toad and Frog. Exa <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Chloe, Sorry. What, what, else, what, what else, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else, uh, what else could we, what else do you want to talk about? What else? What else I, is there in life that I is don't, worth talking about? I don't really know. Like when I look back on what I've done today, I've done absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, How do you feel about that? That's a good question. Because partially it's like a nice little, okay, there's a ton of bullshit happening in the world. Like I should take a break, but also the back of my mind is like, hey, you could be using this time to do a million other things that need to be like, that need to get done, which might not get done in the future, but they probably should. Mm -hmm. Definitely should. But so there's always that little voice in the back of my head that's always been there, which is aggravating. Like, hey, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I know, that that's a, that's a complicated one, right? Because it's like, it's like, what do we ever really need to get done? Um, like, we, we need to go out and make money. We need to make sure that yeah. we have a, a roof over our head. But, like, I don't know, to, to, to have, like, I'm split on this too because it is very fulfilling to like get up early to yeah. go and exercise, to play the recorder for half an hour, you know, to like yeah. come on here and to do an interview a day or something. But if, if that doesn't happen, like what good does it do to be hard yeah. on myself if I don't do it? Yeah, It's not productive and it doesn't have anything to do with my self worth really, you know? I don't know. I'm just so conflicted on it. It's something I'm working on too, for sure. You okay? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the same thing I am. Because, like, do, like, obviously they need to get done, but why do I yell at myself? And put myself through all this random crap for like the tiniest little thing. Well, I think I think it kind of gets back to something that we started talking about at the beginning of the conversation, right? Which is like having to qualify, having to qualify that you know that you do make some commission on art. Sometimes it's like, yeah. so what? So like, like it doesn't matter whether or not you, yeah, like as long as you love it. And um, and I, I think I think it's probably a deeply I mean for me too I mean for many many people yeah um, it's we're just it's kind of like ingrained in our heads right like yeah. that we think like oh if we don't do well then we have a conditional relationship with like our parents so like if we don't work and we don't then our parents are going to hate us because we're not you know, being productive or something. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if that's the same. I think that's something that... No, yeah. You know. A, um, at least a good mass of people can relate to. Yeah. It's hard to get over that, though. How do you do that? <laughs> yeah. Forgiveness? Who knows? Yeah. Do you like movies? I do. I've been watching quite a few since, you know, lockdown. But... <laughs> I can't tell you anything about any of the ones that I've watched. Do you remember what movies? <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Um, I'm trying to think of ones that are stand out to me. 
There are none. <laughs> none. <laughs> none. Um, I mean, I could tell you my favorite movie. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a Christmas rom-com. Don't tell me Christmas with the and cranks. No. <laughs> Wait, that's no, not a romantic but comedy. that's a good one. It could be. Depends on how you look at it. Is it Love Actually? No, I I actually don't like that movie. But it's it's called Why While You Were Sleeping, and it has Sandra Bullock and like the dad from Casper. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up but right it, now. Oh, it's it's so good. It's so good. While you were sleeping, and so. This lady, she has this huge crush on this guy who comes to the subway every day. And she's like the early train. And she's like the train teller. So she takes the coins and they can pass through onto the train. And he faints onto the train tracks. So he's in a coma. So she takes him to the hospital. And the nurse thinks that she's her husband. That she's her, that she's his wife. That's it, yeah. Oh, so and she thinks they, they're married. Oh, and they're just strangers. He just they're passed just out on the train. Yeah, and then his family comes, and she's like, that's his that's his fiance. <gasps> so then she's roped into this family, and she doesn't want to say no. So then they go through all of these little adventures, and it's the cutest thing. It's so sweet. And obviously it has the dad from Casper, who's the cutest guy, because it was I think it was from the 90s. So he's still young. So that's like in his heyday. Like he did Casper and then he got this movie from it because he yeah. was the dad in Casper. And <laughs> wait. <laughs> so wait, what is the name of this movie again? I'm just going to type While this you were sleeping. Such a stupid title. I know, but it's so good. I mean, it's stupid, but it's good. No, it's 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 I mean, the conceit is it's just one of those like feel good crazy stories yeah. yeah yeah i'm uh i'm i'm actually uh an actor and i really love movies oh. which is why I'm, ooh la la um yeah yeah but i i do theater i don't really i don't do film um but i got some of my like, yeah do you do like musicals i forget that there's a difference between musicals and theater you're right that's right um there is musicals and then straight theater what they call it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just do straight theater. I mean, I have done musicals because, I mean, who hasn't done musicals? Yeah. Uh, right? If you're in theater. Um, but yeah, I only really do straight theater. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I've i been doing it for a while now. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, I'm starting to get tired of it actually. Oh. Yeah, so I'm at so like a crossroads. I, I don't have any other plans, <laughs> uh, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, and right now, of course, like, actually, I'm one of the, like the few actors that are still employed during this like COVID mm -hmm. epidemic, which is like oh, it's very it's probably crazy for them. It's awful. It's nerve wracking. Bad. It's very bad for the theater scene. Um, but um, yeah, but I'm really lucky. I'm in, a, I'm, a, I'm in a lucky spot. But I don't know. Yeah, who? I don't. I have absolutely no idea what is going to be happening because during this, you know, COVID thing, it's like I've discovered I really like writing. I've discovered I really like doing this kind of meeting strangers and talking to them and yeah. hearing their perspective, hearing your perspective on things that are different from me. And yeah, um, I really love this actually. So. Just gonna keep doing it every day and see. You know? Could go somewhere. Who knows? Who knows? Too much of everything is is bad. So, and seeing yeah. that little piece of world from every person you find on this weird, weird site. Yeah. What? So, like, actually, that's something. Like, uh, what is it? What is it about Omega that brought you? Brought you here? To, oh, I to saw. Talk to you? I saw some weird YouTube video. Oh. And it, it was a while ago that I saw it. And this is actually my first day on this site, like ever. Cause I've, I've opened it, I've opened the site and I just go nowhere with it. 
because I'm too scared. And it's probably a good thing because I've seen way too much of way too many people. Like, way too much. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, luckily with this tag, like Twitch, there's, there aren't that many. Yeah. Which is it's good. It's much better, right? Yeah. It's much better. I've seen some weird shit on this one, though. Like, some stuff that'll probably scar me for life. But, yeah, I saw some random video where he was just making friends or just talking to random people. And so here I am. There you go. Talking to a random person. You know? And yeah. then someone's going to be watching you. Watching you oh, thinking, Yeah. oh my gosh, like, she's so cool. Like, I want to meet people oh. like her. You know? Yeah. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, like, I have not really told many of my friends that I'm doing this channel. Mm -hmm. Um because, like, part of me is nervous that they're just going to be like, Kenny, like, why? Like, this is so, like, you're such a creep. Like, only creeps go yeah. on Meggle. And yeah, there's a lot of stigma around the site, which there is. There are a lot of people using it for that reason, but there are a lot of cool people, too. People who just want to talk. Yeah, you know? I just want to be people's friends. Like, you know, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool, you know. I think that I think that that that's actually like what this shows is like people are I think this shows that like people are inherently good. Yeah. You know, yeah. if people have the choice, they'll choose to go online and want to connect in a good way to someone, you know? Yeah. Simple as that. There's that little piece in everybody. And obviously some people use it differently and try and find different ways to reach that. But I just think a lot of people, I think most people that come on here want to connect. It's just the way mm -hmm. that they're going about it is different. Like the people who yeah. are jacking off, they, they don't know how to communicate or they don't yeah. know emotion. I, I, okay. Right. This might sound weird, but I've had this really nice conversation to this man. You know, he was doing his business, but I still had a conversation with him. I can't remember it fully, but it was all right. Like, I asked him how was that because I was trying, like, kind of make it weird for them. <laughs> By saying, like, hey, how's your day? And I played them a song on the recorder. And, like, this one actually stayed because usually they skip. A lot of them skip because they think I'm a man, which, which is all right. No, no skin off my back or whatever the saying is. I don't know. But, so, yeah, he was telling me about his life. And it was weird because when you see them, you think, like, oh, they're so not human. Because you're not used to just running into someone and seeing that. <laughs> so you kind of not think that they're on the same mental level as you mm -hmm. which sounds bad but it's true but they're still like they still have their whole lives they they just also do this yeah it's 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 crazy to think like oh like you see a person and you see them doing that and then you have you have a a, a snap judgment as to who they are just from literally that first impression. Yeah. When they could be like the CEO of like Pepsi. Exactly. They really could they be. They could just be anybody. They right? could be your neighbor. You never know. I mean, they could you be could anyone. Them. They could be hedge fund managers. They could be. Or they could be just like the guy from down the street. And I think that's the, that's a lot of, the appeal of this is the animosity of it. Because, like, I'm probably never going to see you again. Which is crazy. But, so that's why I always try and be like, Hi, how are you? Like, you don't know how people's days are going. Might as well make it nice and kind. And, like, when I try and do that, a lot of people are like, Oh, there are, there are a lot of kids. Who are just that's, like, ew, that's... you stinky whore. And I'm like, what? you're eight. You're eight. You can't, what? Yeah. 
Why? But, I, I I think the the reason they may must do that. You know, I, I've gotten that like, oh, they're like, hey, you're like my, you're so old. Yeah. And I I just say to them, I say, actually, that really hurts my feelings. And they're yeah. like, they're like, and I'm like, yeah, like, why are you saying that? You know, this world is so filled with hate. Why are you adding to yeah. it? Like, just be nice to me, please. Yeah. And there, some of them are stunned, or some of them double down. Yeah. You know, and, they don't. They don't know how to react to that because yeah. they just think, "Oh, it's a, it's a person on my screen." Yeah. This is someone let that doesn't just, matter. Yeah. Let me just giggle about it for five minutes and then go about my day. But you don't know how what you just said is affecting them, or how many times they've heard that. And I think the experience between like guys and women and different ages are so vastly different on this website and in life that you'll just never know. And everybody, like, you have your life and you want to think that like, you're the main character. Mm. But every single person is going through all of those different things that you are and probably more and maybe less in different things that you just, you'll never know. That's... Yeah, isn't that weird, like, how we think that we are the main characters in all of this? Yeah. Like, we're, like all humans must just be, like, just psychopathic in a way, right? Like, yeah, yeah. We, think we don't want to admit it. We don't want to admit it, but it's... Like, that it's all... That it all revolves around us. Around yeah. that, you know, me as a, like... We're all just like this tiny little thread and this big mesh of people that mm. creates the world, which is a tiny piece in the universe or the galaxy or whatever. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, galaxy. Yeah. We're, we're just so tiny. We're so tiny. And it's scary. It's terrifying. Does that, at least does, to me. Yeah, is that something that you like? Is that something that you think about a lot? I do, Actually, or, yeah. because there's so much out there and so much that could be and so much that couldn't be or might not be, not couldn't, but, like, you're so insignificant but so significant at the same time. Like, sometimes you feel small and sometimes you just feel out of this world like giant. And it's sometimes you need to be brought back down to earth and sometimes you need to be like, hey, you're more than just a tiny little pebble, like... Could I, uh, like, do you have any stories, of, of, like, specific stories about feeling, like, larger than life? Feeling, like, really powerful? Oh. oh, okay. So, this might sound kind of weird, or I don't know. You probably, you might get it, you might not. But I, I got this really kicking outfit. And I felt absolutely amazing in it. Like, it was... This black blazer that I wore, I think I was like fifth, fifth grade, I think. I had this black blazer and I put it on and I felt like the baddest bitch around. I felt so amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, I look like a big kid. Like I am, I'm top tier. Holy shit, my phone's at 3%, but yeah. I felt <laughs> I felt amazing. And then I got this, I wore it to school. I wore it to school. And then I got bullied for it. So then I was brought back down. Oh. And it broke my heart. It broke my heart. I, I think my mom still has it. You know what? She that Whoever bullied you, like, was scared about how confident they saw it. Like, yeah. Know, like, how confident you had to be. To yeah. Just... I was a weird kid. I had this... So you know Gandalf from Lord oh, of the yeah. Rings? Okay. So I had this Gandalf like hat and attached <laughs> to it was like this string beard. <laughs> and I just wore that to school. I just That's ba that's badass. I know. <laughs> but I think back on it and I'm like, what was I thinking? And then I remember, like, why why am I kicking myself in the back for what I did back then? I was having a hell of a time. Yeah. Like, what the, the thing is, is that you probably weren't thinking, and that's probably where we all need to get back to. Exactly. We, we don't, like, I mean, 
thinking in terms of like, yeah, I don't want to hurt someone is good. But thinking yeah. in terms of who cares what other people think of. Yeah. Yeah. How do we get back there? How do we get back to that kind of Eden? You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure that out. I really hope I can get back there, but I doubt I can fully. Maybe the tiniest little bit I can. Well, My Chloe, phone is at 1%. Yeah, well, I was just going to, I was just going to say, Chloe, like, I think this is going to end soon. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will do. Okay, will do. yeah. Building bridges. And um, yeah, because I'm going to upload this like right now. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll be on there. And um, yeah, shoot me an email too, just so we can keep in touch because I'm trying to okay. get, I'm actually trying to get a bunch of strangers together one of these days to like do, like a, do like a game show or something. I don't know. Yeah, I okay. think it'd be a blast, and then I'll send like ten dollars, ten dollars gift me. certificate to someone <laughs> or I'm something. Just copy paste this whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Chloe, you okay. are awesome. It was so so Thank awesome you. talking to you. It was lovely to meet you. Yeah. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, till next time, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. Chloe, awesome man.